Hi everybody, my name is Lin Kong. Today I want to introduce the financial analysis for marketing decision. If you want to have a successful company, you need to have a good marketing decision. What's the critical factor for making a good marketing decision? Financial analysis. There are three main conceptions for financial analysis. The first one is a break-even analysis. Second one is net present value analysis. The third one is the ritual analysis. Okay, for this for this third one, the break-even analysis is a fundamental one, and also is very important. What's the break? What's the break-even analysis? You need to know the one factor, the break-even point. What's that? Break-even point is that level of sales in either unit or sales dollars at which a firm just cover all its cost. Okay, so I want to you know three factors. The first one is a sales price. Second one is a fixed cost, and the third one is a variable cost. Okay, the sales price. I think it's very important. Everybody will know that the sales price is a price for sale. And the second one is a fixed cost. What's fixed cost? Fixed costs are all the costs relative to the project that don't change regardless how many units were produced or sold. For example, if, we, if I want to build a build in a company for making a car, first I need to have the land, I need to have the machine, and also I need to have the I need to have a factory. So I can I can buy or lease a land and uh, and uh, construct a factory on it. So these three kind of cost belongs to the fixed cost. Remember, the interest and the executive salary also are, a, are the part of the fixed cost. For the variable cost, what's that? Variable cost can vary directly with the number of the units were produced. That's the that's the that's for the raw material and direct labor. Such as for the raw material, such as the tire, the steel, and the window shader. And for the direct labor, uh, it means the people who make a car, who assemble a car, and something like that. And also, I will tell you the contribution margin. It's very easy. It's, it's the difference between the sales price and the variable cost. Okay, let me take the example. I assume that I build in a company for making a car. And here, I invest $1 million on fixed cost. And also, I calculate that I need to spend $3,000 on making per car. And in the supermarket, the selling price is only 5000 so the contribution margin, uh, margin is the is equal to the sales price minus variable cost is equal to five thousand minus three thousand is only two thousand. What does that mean? That means we can earn two thousand dollars from selling a car without cover the fixed cost. Okay, that's a form, that's a formula for break even point. And here, this is a total fixed cost, and here is a contribution margin. It means the total fixed cost is divided by the contribution margin. We can get the break-even point. Fixed cost is one million dollars, and the contribution margin is two thousand. It means earning from selling per car without covering the fixed cost. We get the answer is 500. What's that? That means we must sell 500 cars to fix all their cost. At this point, we can't get any profit. If the company want to get some profit, they must sell more than 500. And if the company thinks they can't sell more than 500, I think they need to 
give up the plan because they will lose the money. So that's a break-even point. Do you agree with me?